Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody is having a great Tuesday. Well today is my 69th floss tube. It is April 20th, 2021. And we got a few things happening. Oh my goodness, I gotta get back. Or I feel like I'm like right on top of you. Oh my goodness, we received some stuff, and we got some stuff, and we, yeah, all the things, and we started some stuff is what I meant to say, we received and got, yeah, those are the same, we're starting off good, aren't we, oh, I'm telling you, oh my goodness, yeah, and today, I woke up and there were four inches of snow out there again but it's supposed to get to the uh, you know, mid 40s maybe yeah. we got our coffee in our April mug see I should have saved this one for May because you know like the maypole you know and the I looked while I was there to see if there was anything that just jumped off the shelf at me for me. So, as usual, we'll just leave it till the end, right? Oh, yeah. <coughs> and then I choke on the copy. Oh, yeah. Let's, I don't even know where to begin. It, it was kind of a whirlwind, snowy week. I, I think every day last week it snowed in the morning and then by noon or so, it, or not noon, but in the afternoon somewhere, it was gone. And then yesterday, it was, it was a beautiful day. There was no wind. I mean, just a little slight, tiny breeze. It was dang near 60 degrees in the middle of the afternoon and then I got home about 4 30 because it just went dead you know at work and I'm like the fill-in from 10 to 6 so if it's busy I mean sooner or later it's gonna be busy all day you know and everything so I left about 4 30 I went to the post office I got all that stuff then I came home and did that video and by ish the wind was blowing really really hard and it wasn't doing anything and it blew for like four hours just horrible and wasn't doing a thing I went to bed about 10 30 not that I went to sleep but finally at about 11 30 ish somewhere I went to sleep and slept until 6 30 this morning yeah I woke up to snow and it wasn't doing anything I mean it really wasn't looking bad excuse me by like 730 or so I mean because usually see we can tell we got the mountains out here like running like this and when the curtain comes down and you can't see the wind the, the mountains anymore you know we're gonna get snow now there have been times where it just hangs up there doesn't do anything but we're crappy over here but it's not doing anything it's not snowing but it's snowing like crazy I'm sure up on top so yeah it, it was special so it'll be melted off I do have to run into town before I go to work and I don't have to go until 2 15 what happened this week I, it it was just I had I had seven starts seven starts last week and I received let's see, four, six, six patterns. Six patterns. I don't know how I got seven. St oh, I know how I did. Um, yeah. And we started a new ornament for the 12-month uh, ornament sale. If you'd like to join us, it's on Instagram at hashtag 12-month Christmas ornament sale. And it's all one word. And you can see what everybody else has been doing. Jump in whenever you like. And 
share your progress. Laura, Laura's not real good at sharing her progress. It's either, okay, I started this, and okay, I finished this. That That's... For some reason, I just forget exactly what I did. All right. I got this in the wrong space. Where am I? Okay, I see what I'm doing here. I thought I had the wrong part. I was like, oh my gosh, how did I do that? No, I pulled the wrong thing. We need to start over. No, not happening. No. Okay. So, and I think there, there was two more. I don't know. Let's go with what I worked on. And then we'll get to starts, all right? So I pulled out Long and Winding Road. I love this. By Blackbird Design. I got this from a friend. <gasps> love it! And I'm doing it on 14 count, and it's called Natural Linen. But it's not linen, it's Ada. And I think that, or Carolina Linen, I can't remember but I did work on this a little bit and I got some of the flowers done here I got this material I started to say at Walmart and it came in a tube so and it said what did I just say Carolina or natural linen on the thing I think it's Charles Craft so whoops Good gravy. And I'm starting to go back. There's another little doodad right here in the middle. But for some reason I had to set it down. But I did get these started over here. Because, yeah. I really want to get started on the background. Yeah. Or not the background, but everything else but the house. You know how that goes. Because I figure if I start on the house first, I'm never going to finish the house. It, it's like seeking refuge. I, I wanted to get that house started because I knew it would be a monster and we're still stuck on the house. Whoops. Let's put the pattern away, Laura. <sighs> Molly's over here digging herself a hole. She must be cold. It was like, felt like 8 degrees this morning. It was like 15 or something like that. Then we worked on, I love this, it's so pretty, whoa, stay, stay please, The Two Birds in the Lilacs by Joy Sunday, isn't that pretty, I mean it's just so simple and pretty, I just love it, I want to get to the birds, but alas, we're over here. Let's see if I can fold it. It's a little stiff. I tried to roll it, but it, and it's not too bad to work with. So, it's pretty good. But we're starting to put the definition into the uh, the lilac bushes. I wish I could just reach out and smell them. Hm. Yeah, because I know that smell. But that's all I've gotten done. We've got a little bit of the greenery done down in here. And it's a 14 count. So, and it's one of those that I keep out and just pull it out when all I want to do is stitch and I want to have to think real hard. Because some days that thinking hard just kills me. Oh my goodness. What else? Ugh. And we worked on the Cardinals, which I got from Everyday E Crafts. It's such a pretty pick. This is. This picture is just stunning. And as you can see, it's kind of a shiny plastic-ish thing. It's not a sticker. But, sorry. I'm trying to get it so there's no glare. But it is gorgeous. So we worked on filling in the dark... Let me see if I can turn it around. The, the background is going to be that color... You know, maybe another, trying to, 
see how it's dark in that corner, but it's like a, well, it's like a gray blue. There we go. That way there's no light shining on it. But that's part of the background. See how it gets lighter up here and it goes to the next and then this is the dark. So, yeah, it'll be gorgeous. I love those flowers too. So we worked on it a little bit. Then we worked on another blackbird. It was blackbird week. Oh, before I forget, I think it's May first weekend. Don't quote me on this. Brenda and the cereal uh, starter are doing a blackbird stitch along on the weekend. So you can work on whatever blackbird you want. Needless to say, I have a couple. Just a couple. So we worked on... I forgot to pull it out. Good gravy. My favorite. I want this one done this year. And I may... I don't know. I keep thinking, okay, so when do I start Christmas? Because last year it seems like it was... September-ish when I started and I got a few Christmas patterns some I didn't even start um because we had sampler September in between there so it seems like it was either September October I started on this I don't have a date here actually but yeah I love this thing and I've almost got the top part completed I got to finish this here and then maybe a couple little motifs to make it so I'll have that part done I've already got that line that comes across there started so there's another deer maybe finish this and then I'll have the top part done so I would love to have this done by Christmas so I don't know I keep hearing people when I listen to other floss tube they say well my focus piece for this month I have no focus. I am like ricochet rabbit. I am everywhere. So I was kind of thinking maybe I could work on this, say, half an hour, maybe an hour a day until it's done. I would love that. I just, and I almost forgot to show you what we worked on. So I've got the, uh, I have to forgive the strings. This is on 16 count country French cafe mocha. I know. From what you So I've got the. Damn. What do you call it? The border. Coming down. Coming down. I don't know how much. It'll be like twice as much. Because it'll be this long. But down here. So I'm getting closer to the bottom. Part of the border. Maybe a little bit more. But so far, everything's lining up. So as you can see, I just got a few things to put in, and I'll have that top part done. So, I don't remember. What did we work on? Good gravy. I don't know. Oh, yeah, we were working on putting the, uh, the berries in the border. So I've almost come to here, and then I'll have to put some more down this way so yeah I just love this and I put it away because you know it was like right after Christmas and I was just kind of over Christmas Let, let's get on to something else so yeah that's why it got put away but I'm ready to bring it out again because I love it don't want to finish it because you know then I won't have it to love but yeah and I've been debating whether or not to uh, work on, you, let me show you, or to even think about getting the material for it. I saw um, Nisi Lynn did, there is a picture of it, did this last year. It's just stunning, just, just, just stunning. I love it. Um... I don't know what color I would put it on, but yeah, it's one in this book that I would love to do. And it's not, doesn't have too many. Three, 
six. It's got eight colors, so it's not too bad. The only thing I don't like about this is that you can't see. This fabric isn't dark enough to pick up all the um, snowflakes. So I might go with like a wheat color or something, maybe wren. I don't know. But it can be done on probably 16 count, you know, if you had to. But finding a color that it would just all clash with, because I want to be able to see those those snowflakes on that. So it's a thought. All right. And the last thing that was already in motion is my Bristol Orphanage Sampler, which is Hope and Love by Clara and Maude Pickernell, 1881 by Hans Crosses. And I'm just working on it a little bit by a little bit by a little bit. But it is. I love it. This is a terrible picture of it because in all of its red glory, it's beautiful. That was back when I didn't have any color and I had to get some more color. And I'm doing it on 16 count Country French Cafe Mocha. And the thread color is uh, 221, my favorite. So this week, it's a, it'll be huge. I finished this row, and I'm getting ready to start. I started right there to do the next row. So we're just going across. I did get this across until I got to the Z, which... I got tired of going across and making those. These letters are, are no joke. They're they're not hard. They're just dense, if you will. I don't know how to explain it. So it's not a big deal. But I finally got across there. I found out what I set out to do. I wanted to make sure that I had enough material to go all the way across. So, yeah. So, I just worked on it for a little bit because it's 16 count, I can see it, and I'll explain, and you'll know why I needed something that I could actually see. Well, if I could just get the thread off of me, back into its thing. I love these plastic things. They are the best thing since sliced bread, I'm telling you. They hold everything. Okay, I need a drink. We need a break. Okay. So, I'll go with the easiest one, and then I can explain everything else. So, I started... Whoops. All my little colors are attaching themselves. Well, I know I did. It's kind of a bright red now that I see it here against everything else. But that's okay. Let me set that there. And then I have to get the picture. I don't know that I... I'll just put it right here. It's called North Pole, and it is by MTV Designs. Maria Teresa Vitali. Oh, I just love it. It's so cute. Yeah, I haven't done any more than when I like to pick these up because they're small, you know, usually on the weekends or whatever when my brain is on overload. But this is all we've gotten done, or I've gotten done. 16 count country French cafe mocha. You know it. My favorite fabric. And that's all I've gotten. So I've got about three quarters of the way across of the thing, because that's going to run the full length, and it's a, it'll be a square picture, as you can see. And I'm changing up the houses, and everything else will probably be the same. I'm not using call for colors. I'm just okay. It's green. Okay, it's red. Yeah, that's how that's working. No brains last week. None. In fact. 
I forgot it was the 15th and forgot to film the starting of the ornament. So it's been that kind of a week. Okay, on to the fun stuff. Then, as you know, I received two beaded cross stitch kits. This is one from uh, AliExpress. Love it. And, of one, and it, I thought, oh, it's stitched on Black Dahlia. I'm thinking, well, how, how bad could that be? You know, if it was stitched on Black Ada and it had the pattern all printed. Oh, no, girlfriend. All that black you see is beads. Yeah, but that's okay. It's not that big. Not that big at all. So, I kind of went crazy and worked on this twice. Two different settings. Let me get the thread out of the way. So, as you can see, it's not very big. Not at all. So, and the black whoop, thread what's hanging on me. You know, it. what is that? That's 10, there's 20 beads, you know, whatever. It, it's not nearly as bad as it thought. So, i got to get closer, but we're never going to get there. Hang on. So, I work down here. And I got that little patch done. I'm like working my way across either way. Then I saw this pink over here and went, I wonder what that looks like. So, yeah. I started again. And just got that part. I'm just kind of going across the top, you know kind of working my way through. And then I ran into all this here. So this will be the greens, and then I can start the black, and then hopefully it'll meet up, you know, as I come across. Yeah, that's not the, the textbook way to do that at all. Um, yeah. Uh, most people that are normal and start these, they would just go from this corner side to this side and back and back and back and back. I am the kid. They can't wait to get to the center of the Tootsie Pop. I'm telling you. I put it off for like three days. And then I'm like, I really got to see what that pink looks like. I really, really, really do. So, yeah. Love it. And I love these blues against that black. So I can only imagine. Sorry, I can't see what I'm looking at. Um, what the pink is going to look like next to the the black. So that'll be the next thing. I'll just kind of work right down. Finish those greens. Nothing ever goes textbook with me. It's like, no, I don't like the way that looks. Well, let's just do that that way. Yeah, that's how that happened. I put it back in its little folder just for showing purposes. All right. Then we had a few things. Oh, so I started trying to find the picture. Okay, this is by Leslie Tear. I got both of these. Hang on, got to figure out where it's at. And as you know, I got started... I did, started it on the blue. I didn't like the blue because the blue was just going to meld right into the, the fabric. So I restarted it on 16 count country French latte, which is the, the lightest one of all of them. And where is it? Then I didn't have, it goes this way. Um, 823 so I had ordered it and it finally came in and in the meantime I went to the sewing store where I get my floss and they had some so I brought it home and I started doing the back stitching on it so as you can see I'm starting the back stitch all of that square needs to be back stitch on the outside and on the inside I think think the inside, but I'm not real sure. But I did start 
the back stitch. It looks black, doesn't it? And I back stitched all this up here that was supposed to be done where that dark square is. So it's just going to take a little time. Not a big deal. I do like the way it looks. Yeah. So then, is it that one in there? Last night, I could just get the, I don't know, I must have been too tired because I went to bed early. I got this out. This is the other one that I got from Leslie Tear. I hope I'm saying, whoops, wrong. Hold that thought, folks. Oh my goodness, get in there. Oh, I do hope. Yep, I do. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Guess what? Remember I said, I don't know if there's any backstitching in there. Them flowers are all backstitched. You know, around the outside -ish. You know, outlining those poppies, which is fine. Yeah. So, I decided, what the heck. I'll start this. This is as far as I got. Because the next color, I don't know what happened to it. don't know where it went. I have to go get another one because I don't think, I mean, it's not something I've had. But that's all I got done. And yeah, I know. This piece of fabric is 26 by 36. So, as you can see, it's long. This is the blue willow. It's at the other end. I just... It's not going to be very big, like 8x8 eight eight or maybe 10x10. 10 10. And then this one's not very big. So I just put them at opposite ends so I can work on them and pull it out. I don't want to put the threads together because that would be a nightmare. So I just keep it in one pouch. No big deal. No big deal. We got this. So, yeah. So I started them both. Get that out of my way. Then, oh, I also received Dutch Beauty, if you didn't see this yesterday. I went to 123 Stitch. I know, there's a pause in between all that. I will get back to the rest of it. Um, I bought the background material and the thread that goes with that and another little pattern. They only had three or four colors, I think. And the material for it, but it's only going to be about yay big. Not very big, but I did get my Dutch Beauty. little clue to anybody, order it someplace else other than Amazon, because it took three weeks. Now, not that it might... Oh, you really? You're just going to be that way. Um, it might have been easier to order it at 123 Stitch. At least they had the... Uh, the list of the DMC and that's what I ordered and it said you could use whatever fabric you wanted and it's all as far as I know I didn't get a chance to look through it all it's all regular cross stitch I don't think there's might be a little back stitching here and there but nothing too panicky then enters the Italian drama. Oh, God. So, yeah. So, as you know, I also received three patterns from... I want to try to say it. Renato Parlone. And, well, yeah. There's one. Now, when I pulled these threads, it looks like it's... What do you call it? Like autumn. Like that might be like a dark, like a, what do you call it, a reddish brown, and that might be like a darker red, like my 221. These are the colors that it called for. So it may change some things, not real clear, but these are the called fork threads. I was not happy. You know, oh, and there's another brown. I just guess I want too much. I don't know. 
so I didn't get very far because of course there's snow at the bottom this is 28 count mushroom lagana and I got a big big piece so that I can it's not that big the, the pattern is not that big um, I'll look it up here in a second but that's all I've gotten done on 28 so I'm starting the tree this part's looking okay it's just I wanted some more I wanted more of a autumn feel I guess I don't know the picture looked autumn to me hang on I have all my little copies and let's see fabric what did I say that was it's 28 count which is 16 everything is in Italian doesn't tell me but it's not very big I think the pattern is one page and it only had six, nine colors there's your colors thank goodness that was in English <laughs> it'll be okay <coughs> so you know I might if I don't like what it looks like I am going to change the colors to reflect more on them if I could find a um like a variegated autumn color I might do the tree you know the branches and stuff in it oh lord let's not lose the pattern but it doesn't say it's all on one page so it's just one page pattern see flash but I'm not seeing I guess it's 108 by 138 I have no idea how big that's going to be because I don't know we'll see but it's not very big I think it would be probably maybe as big as this page guessing 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 okay lay that right on top then I worked on the other one and it's done on 28 count wheat love this I don't I can't say the name but there it is in Italian but it I just love this so I got 28 count wheat the Ghana and both of the the wheat and the mushroom are from Zweiger. And I got a great big piece once again because um, I want some of it left over. I think it'll make nice uh, antique looking Christmas ornaments or Christmas pictures. I'm just going to tack down this thread so it doesn't jump up. But I started right here in the snow. Now, you can see that. There's that part. Now, on this pattern, I don't know if you can see it close. Look, upside down. Hold that thought. Got to get closer. All right. So, right around the white is some back stitching in a different color which is fine but the back stitching is right there and I'm not I haven't back stitched on even weave yet so I don't know how that's gonna fly need a little more practice so that's why I started with the snow here whoops at that edge and I'm working that way and there's a tree that's hanging out here no no tree sorry just snow wrong one the other one had a tree there so yeah and it may change the color of the houses wasn't real pleased with the thread what do you call it yeah I don't know I've picked a couple things I haven't got to the houses so I'll see how it looks on that on this uh, wheat lagana 
this stuff is wonderful. It's easy to work with, easy to see the squares. It's great. So yeah, so we attempted to start those. Then there was the other elephant in the room, shall we say. I love this pattern. I just want to hug it. It's the one with the trees. We'll call it the forest one. Yes. I've seen this finished. I think it was Cassie Joe. Oh, God. I think her name is Cassie Joe on Floss Tube on YouTube. And Roadhouse. No. Stitch Roadies is working on this, too. And hers is on a green. And it's beautiful. So I think she's doing it in white. But I can't get my white to lay down. So We are using uh, 3865. And this is 32 count. I had to think what it was called. Azure Blue, I think. Yeah. We got a yard of it. But we are making progress. So I, I went from the Mag Eyes to my uh, Hot light. So I finished the deer that are coming this way. I got to finish the snow to highlight them. And I started my first tree. This is the tree trunk of the first tree. So hopefully between the snow and the tree, it'll bring out these tans. I kind of wanted them to just be silhouettes, but you know, you won't be looking at it real close, but that's all I got done. It's kind of slow going, but you know, it is what it is, but I like it, and I'm not going to give up. I just want to get a tree done, or started, so. Okay, believe it or not, yeah, you know, we're not at Ripley's. Let me put that in there. That is one hunk of fabric. All right, let me set it up here because it's being kind of bulky at the second. All right. So, woo, that is all that I worked on. And as you know, I have no plans. Um, still waiting on this stuff from um, Do It Yourself Digital Art. And that has the pre stamped in it. Like I said, I ordered the fabric and the thread and another little pattern. And it's thread and fabric. Not very big. From 123 Stitch. That's coming. And last night I went in and ordered another pattern. It's a long dog. It's coming. Yeah. And it's one I've wanted to, to stitch. But it's not. It's more. It's not very wide this way. But it is long. So. Yeah. So. Those will be coming within the weekish. But. Oh. And my organizer for. Um. All my stuff on my desk that is little and needs to be put someplace else because it's, it's oozing off my desk because my desk now has no wall to hold everything on the desk. Does that make sense? Whew. Moving right along. So, I said that this week I was going to be giving away... Oh, turn it around. I put the stuff in there in front so you really can't see the pattern it's so cute it's a joy sunday it's called lovely chicken number one and it's got the little chickens and there's a, i think there's an easter egg down there so that's the one i'll be giving away today it is 14 count and it it's it's nice and precious. Isn't that cute? Come on. It's cute. It does have a little back stitching in it. But I think it's back stitching that anybody can see. You know, I mean, it's pretty straightforward as far as I'm concerned. Some of that back stitching, they want you to go. This actually follows the contour of the animals. I've had back stitching that go sideways and go this and. Case in point, inspiration. 
I love inspiration. Just can't wrap it around my head yet. We're gonna, I love that pattern. I have it now. Okay, let's get on with this. So, put everybody's name in my little dealie. And, didn't have too many takers for this, but that's okay. Not everything can be great. All right, and let's pick a winner. Let's put the lid on because Lord Laura. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Put that over there. And the winner for the chickens is Janice Myers. All right, Janice. If you will, I will comment on your comment. And if you will email me your address, shipping address, I will get this shipped out to you. And it'll probably be Thursday when I do my mailing. And if I can't, I'm trying to get my thing open. Come on. And that is all. That concludes Put the name in there so I don't lose everything. Um, all the ones that I got from Everyday E-Crafts. Like I said, do-it-yourself digital art. Say that three times. It's coming, so there'll be more pre-stamps that I give away. But since I didn't have any more, I am going to be giving away a counted cross-stitch pattern. This is by Hands-On Design. If I can get it out of its thing. Let's talk autumn. I got this a few months ago, and I'm like, no, not so much. So, I will be giving away Autumn. So, let's talk Autumn. And put the word Autumn down in the comments today if you would like to receive this pattern. Everything's here. It's like a single page. And, well, where is it? trying to open it there nope I take it back there's two pages for the pattern and plus it has let's see if I can turn this the little two patterns included in there as well so if you would like to be sent autumn put autumn let's talk autumn by hands on design put autumn in the box in the comments comment and put autumn use it in a sentence I don't care just one way or another as long as the word is autumn there or I'd like to stitch autumn whatever yeah and please be um, over 18 be a subscriber and like the video all right, I think, honestly, I think that's it. Yeah, it's like the 12 days of Christmas around here because there's like 19 stars and three of this and two of that and one of that. And it's like, okay, we're done for this week. Can we go on to the next week? Let's, let, I have no plans. I would like to get the do-it-yourself stuff, but digital art, because there's like, seven or eight patterns in there I'm not sure but I will be giving away three or four of those and I also have the everyday e-crafts there's three of those coming so yeah stuff to look forward to guys all right if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell and that way you'll know when my next video comes out don't forget to put Autumn in the, the comment section. And Janice Myers, get a hold of me. Um, after I comment on your, your comment from last week. And I will ship out your chicken pattern. Alright, we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, do all the things. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.